What up, guys? Jelly beans are fun here from Streamer House, and I've been asking. I've been, well, I've been given a lot of questions about like where do I farm trilobites and where do I go to get all of the trilobites and kill them all. Um, I am going to show you my little secret spot. Uh, it's not really secretive, but it's a place that I like to go to. I, I like to do it on a spino just because it makes it a lot easier. Now, a, a common misconception with the trilobites is that the, they're at the bottom of the ocean. You can only find them in the deepest parts. But the area I'm going to show you is a really kind of nifty area where you don't really need a high amount of oxygen. But I personally have, uh, actually look at my stats, I have 380. Uh, me and one other tribe made up of, of, in our tribe, we, we, we're the ones that kind of go after the pearls and the oil and stuff like that. So, um, But for me, that's what I like to do. But... It's up to you if you'd like to put a couple levels in oxygen. It helps with your swimming speed as well as staying in the water longer. Um, where I'm located right now is off the coast of Herbora Island, which is in the southeast corner. Um, it's around 85, 82, so 85 latitude and 82 longitude. Um, we're off in the southeast corner. I'm going to show you my nice little area. So we're going down into the water here. Um, now this entire island has these little shelves on on the connect to it and as you can see here there's a whole bunch of trilobites and the reason I like to use this Spinosaur is because it has a really good frontal cleave it allows me to kill a whole bunch of them at once without having to really um, go down there and pike them all um, now on our server we do have the gathering rate in increase a little bit so you're gonna see a little bit different numbers on our servers and compared to yours wherever you play at um, but this is the way I farm trilobites. Um, this is just what I do. Uh, anytime we need chitin or oil or pearls, I just come down here and do this so I don't have to take the sharks out of the water pen or the dolphins or anything like that and go down to the bottom of the ocean. Um, it just makes it a lot easier and where, we're, where our main base is, this is actually really close so it's not like I have to travel very far. And on a spino, you just have unlimited stamina pretty much so you can just go down here for a long period of time um, one thing to keep in mind is keep a lookout on your oxygen. You don't want your oxygen dropping down too low where you drowned. Because nothing is more embarrassing than dying because you drowned. <laughs> I know a few of our tribemates have died to that, but it's uh, it's it's pretty silly. Um, I'm going to keep swimming around to see if there's any more down the coast. Yeah, as you see, they're coming in. There's a few of them. Not a lot, but... And, and they're... There are certain areas where there'll be a whole bunch. Um, if you do this, you know, if, if your server has a daily reset or like a weekly reset of uh, restarting the server, not really wiping the server, but just restarting the server to help with the spawns, um, this is a really plentiful, a plent put, a plentiful place. I can't even speak right now, but it's a plentiful place for a lot of materials. So I'm just uh, running around, killing all of these guys, getting all that chitin, all the oil, all the pearls. So much material. And the chitin is really good for making cementing paste, if you're making metal buildings, uh, explosives, things like that. Uh, oh, I'm drowning! Oh no! Oh no! I wasn't keeping an eye on it. I was so distracted by all the fishies I was killing. Alright, I'm good. I didn't die. That would have been embarrassing. We're gonna go back down here, but uh, pearls are also good for the uh, for electronics, um, making you know devices, things like that. The oil is good for cooking it into gasoline, so you can power your your turrets, your generators, things like that. So you can have refrigerators running, uh, air AC running, things like that. So if you're into the tech side of Arc, that's awesome for that. Um, but yeah, this is where I go for when I'm trying to get us some trilobites. Oh my gosh, there were so many right there. Apparently, it was took a second for the server to catch up to where I was. Just killed so many! So many! So yeah, I just run around here and kill all the trilobites. It's crazy, just the amount of uh, amount of them that are down here. All of them. All right. Well, that is it. it. Took me about, you know, it's been about 
four minutes, five minutes now of just purely farming trilobites. So we're going to go up on the coast here. I'm going to sit, sit my little spino up. Um, now this base is not my base with all these wooden walls everywhere. That's definitely not my base. Um, someone decided to come over to Herbivore Island and fence it off, which is, it's, in, in theory, it's a really cool idea, but in reality, it's kind of, uh, kind of a rude move, but, oh well. So I'm sitting up here, um, we're gonna check the inventory, so I've gotten one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight hundred almost, roughly, of, of chitin, and then I've gotten, um, seventy-eight oil and twenty pearls. Not a lot of pearls, but a good amount of chitin, and chitin is really what we need right now. So I'm going to head back to base and drop this off with my tribe mates so we can get to crafting some more stuff. Um, that's it for this video of how I farm trilobites. Um, if this is a really cool location, let me know down below. If this is a location you've kind of already known about, let me know. For me, I thought it was like a super secret location that not many people knew about as far as going to when you're farming these little guys. Um, I really like coming down here just because it's really quiet. It's away from all of the carnos people are trying to tame and things like that. And it's a nice little, little quiet area over here. So let me know down below what you all think. And like the video, subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day.